It's trending time here in the studio. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I'm Samantha Medney. Curbside Bistro is hosting their fourth annual Thanksgiving meal today. They tell me they've been blessed with their restaurant and this is their way of giving back. From the very first year, we were gonna do it all ourselves. We, we didn't think anybody was gonna give or anything like that. And we weren't expecting it either. So we posted, hey, we're gonna do a free Thanksgiving dinner. And within like the next day, we had people coming by, uh, giving away turkeys, rolls. So you see, it takes a while to start a turkey. And we actually did it out of our food truck, <laughs> which is crazy. We, that year, I think we cooked about 20 turkeys and like 15 hams. This is Curbside Bistro's biggest year yet preparing 32 turkeys and 20 hams. Yeah, yeah, mind blown, yeah. It's a lot. This year we had more than I expected, which uh, I actually had to borrow a smoker from my friend. <laughs> Alejandro and Stephanie Barrientos are expecting 250 to 300 people between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. If you think we've been up early, Alejandro's been up all night preparing the smoked turkey. I have a lot of friends and family that support me like crazy, so they'll come over and they'll, they'll, they'll chill with me for a couple hours. I have uh, one of my friends, he actually stays with me all night. My brother will come over and hang out with me all night. And just because this is a free meal doesn't mean you shouldn't expect the best from an award-winning chef. I said, imagine your mom was out there. Imagine your grandma was out there and she paid with her last $10. And this is the meal she chose. I said, are you proud of it? And if you can't make it or know someone else who could use a nice homemade Thanksgiving meal. We have so much volunteers from the community that come over and they're like, hey, load up my truck with plates and I'll go around driving around to these homeless camps to where I know where people are staying and, and they drop them off. Last year they dropped them off to the firefighters and fire stations, uh, some nurses and, and the NICU. So just uh, whoever messages through our Facebook, hey, uh, I need a couple plates here, a couple of plates there, we try our hardest to get them out there to them. Now, if you'd like to volunteer, meet us inside Curbside Bistro. And if you'd like to contribute, you can bring drinks for carryout orders. Our community continues to blow us all away with their generosity. People have been donating their new or gently used winter clothes for those in need. The Barrientos want you to know that when you enter Curbside Bistro, you're a guest. So take a break, sit down, and relax. We'll take the plates out to you. And Curbside Bistro isn't the only place hosting a free meal today. Midland residents can head over to Addie's Diner. They're inviting people between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. to eat with them. Addie's is grateful for what they have and want to share their success with the community. And every year, the Salvation Army takes part in a free hot turkey meal for their residents. And this year isn't any different. You have the option for a dine-in or take-out Thanksgiving meal. Let's look at what's trending this turkey day. Now let's toss it over to Craig Stewart for a look at this holiday's forecast. 